Hello, I am Nur Alia Hanim Dabra Halim from Polytechnic Ibrahim Sultan. I am hotel and catering student. Aha, uh -huh. have you heard about tourism and hospitality industry? Yes. Some of you may be yes, but some of you may be no. Let me introduce about tourism and hospitality industry. Tourism and hospitality industry is one of nation's faster growing segment of economy. Expansion and growth of tourism products have created vast career opportunities in the industry. Industry goals are to satisfy the needs of the customer and to provide a level of excellence and quality. JPH PACE consists of four programs which is Diploma in Event Management, Diploma in Hotel and Catering, Diploma in Tourism Management and Bachelors of Science. So, let me tell you a little bit about course that P students are learning. First, I want to tell you about Diploma in Event Management. The program is designed to educate and equip the students with comprehensive knowledge and skills in related fields of event industries such as administration, operation, marketing, risk management and event project are also intensive to support creative thinking. Do you know what is crowd management? Come, I explain. Crowd management is a subject that describes how to control crowd in any event. Between subtopic contained in this subject is an introduction to the crowd management that explains the job description for event manager by department, types and group of crowd who are in a council. It is the term that always used for a function such as agency, crowd controller, employer, employee, and others. Next, protocol and etiquette. We need to know the protocol and etiquette before attend a formal event. Protocol and etiquette is a subject that describes a rule or procedure that should be shown in order to fulfill the agenda of social life. There are many subtopics in this subject, such as the first subtopic is the history of protocol, define the protocol, importance of protocol, protocol, and many more. Next subtopic is seating arrangement, which is describe the seating for the guests of honor, couples, and a description of each seating arrangement. I am really sure that all of you keep thinking what are we learn in hotel catering, right? Yes! Come and listen, what are they learn? One of the subjects is food and beverage. Food service is one of the fast growing industries. It is offered job opportunities in hotel and restaurant, catering organization, hospital catering. Then, we learn about food service preparation. Lecturer teach us how to do a sideboard, make various kinds of napkin folding, and use the napkin folding and table setting. Example of napkin that we learn are bishop hat, sun rising, bird of paradise, and many more. Besides, we learn how to setting table. Two types of setting table is table dot and a la carte. Moreover, we learn guest handling procedure. Do you know first impression from the customer is important? Guests arriving at a restaurant gain their first impression of the establishment substantial from the staff who acknowledge their present and greeting they receive. We learn from guest greeting, guest seating, water service, present and describe menu, taking orders and recommending dishes, serving food and beverage, clearing the table, handling bills and thanking guests. If we are not learning this subject, we will never know that serving food have their own sequence. Start from appetizer, Soup, main course, dessert, and coffee or tea. Last but not least, we also learn service technique, which an American service, French service, Russian service, and self service. Then, in semester two, we got pastry class. In pastry class, we are learn about pastry. Lecturer teach us how to make a bun. The most important things is we can make a soft and fluffy bun, but before this, we just buy the buns and eat the buns. But then, we complain about it because of the softness of the bun. Now I know how hard to make a soft and fluffy bun. In this class, I've learned about eight types of makeup method. 
Besides, Hotel Catherine students learn about housekeeping. What is housekeeping in your mind? Haha, <laughs> too bad. Not bad as that. Housekeeping operation and management introduce all aspects of hotel housekeeping operation, including housekeeping department, structure, inventory, and equipment management, laundry, room cleaning, and management, and many more. Laundry is a place where the washing and finishing of clothes. We can working as a housekeeper and can working at the laundry. By the way, if you have chosen to further your studies, then you should ask yourself whether you want desire to go to the academic pathway or the skill-based pathway. One other major consideration when deciding on your choices is your financial situation because education does not come cheap. Thus, the decision making to select the correct institution for your higher education will be a tough one. Whatever your decision may be, you should and have this to stand by it if you feel you have made an informed choice. Students are given the responsibility to control their own life and to ensure that they keep their priorities right. Do you agree with me? In a nutshell, college or university life not only imparts knowledge and academic or professional skills to students, but more importantly, also prepares them for life as adult, grooming them in their personal development, including for leadership. If they are really interested with their course, they will struggle, pay attention and enjoy while studying here. Will be punctual. Work honesty and stay focused on their study. While make a practical in a class, they will show their skill. While for the students who are not interested with their course, they will feel stressed. The most important thing is they will feel the practical are too tough for them. They don't want to show their own skills. They will keep saying, Ah, very hard for me to do this. I need to move. I cannot stand here anymore. This is the difference between students who are interested and not interested with their course. For the students who are interested with this course, they have put their own target and goals. What is it? Haha, some of them maybe want to be a chef, hotel manager, or maybe they want to be a businessman or businesswoman. They want to open their own restaurant. Who knows, right? If you want the best chance for college success, you should create a weekly schedule. Be sure to include in this schedule study time, work hours, and even workout time frames. You should get enough time to sleep in college. Your body and brain should thank you as your meal finals. Students who are striving for college success use tools. Whether it is a smartphone application that helps them to stay organized and send them study reminders or a physical day planner to track assignment, due dates and exam times. I believe that they don't truly really understand how TVET works, thus creating a negative image. It is hard for me to understand how people think that TVET will not be beneficial for their children when it is clear that it can only help them on the path to a brighter future. For me, TVET have a lot of benefit. You can learn more about skill here. The lecture also kind and very helpful. You can ask questions if you don't know something. Lecture will help you. Don't be shy. I hope that people outside there open their eyes to choose TVET as their first choice college. They come here not only for study, but they can be someone when they are graduate from TVET. What are you waiting for? Interesting, right? Yes. So, think wisely and make your best choice. <laughs>